But frustrations are not just for the user. We as developers or designers, as producers of the web, we have been dealing with frustration a lot. Starting with tools and techniques. So, for example, at, at the beginning, okay, uh, I was designing websites using frame sets. Do you even know what is, that is, right? I'm not talking about iframes, frame sets. And after that, after a while, like two years, that wasn't the way to design websites. Okay, we need to use tables, okay, to lay out everything. And then, of course, tables is not the way. Uh, in the meantime, we have Flexbox, old version, new versions. Uh, we have semantic containers. And then now we have table layout in CSS again. Yeah, I know, it's something different, okay? But anyway, it's, it's interesting to see, okay, how things are changing over the years. And then we have, as uh, other speakers mentioned uh, today, okay, some issues, like, for example, Prototype and Scriptaculous, then it was replaced by jQuery, and then we have jQuery Mobile, okay? But jQuery Mobile wasn't really the mobile version of jQuery, okay? Uh, by the way, that was another book I authored for Riley. And now I will open a parenthesis. I really like the Korean version of that book, okay? Isn't that a really cool O'Reilly cover? Okay, closing parenthesis. <laughs> so now we have Angular, okay? So you have spent a lot of time learning AngularJS, for example, and you know, okay, even if you became a senior there, that now it's Angular, not AngularJS, and you need to probably learn again some things. And of course, we have the React universe with uh, different versions there. And that means that everything is changing all the time. It's not just about the tools and techniques. It's also about browsers are changing, devices are changing. Um, also, techniques are changing. Remember that thing? Okay, using prefixes. Or compatibility is changing all the time. And that basically ends with this guy, okay, Socrates, that said this thing, okay, that's Latin. I don't know Latin anyway. But that means basically I only know that I know nothing. And I think that's the feeling that we have been having for a while here in the web field, right? That you learn something and then you know nothing. You learn something that you know nothing. So it's like a current feeling that we have in the web space. And again, I'm not the only one saying this today. 